dear bitter married women you guys there are a lot of topics that i wrote down that i have been shying away from talking about but you guys bumsy is back and there are a lot of topics we are going to be talking about but this particular one is to dear bitter married women you guys should stop projecting toxicity on everybody that seemingly looks happy as a couple and just trying to genuinely build a happy thriving good and healthy family because they are people like that people like that exist people that are having successful and wonderful marriages doesn't mean that they don't go through issues or they don't go through stuff but there are people that are having genuinely happy homes and are just living their life stop spurring hate and telling people that not everybody is happy in their situation or in their marriage not everybody looks like it doesn't look like what it seems if people come to just post happy pictures for you they are all faking it not everybody is faking it like you stop projecting not everybody is married to the same husbands that you are married to yes and you guys you're doing these things to discourage other people from venturing into the course of marriage but you are not leaving your own marriage no matter how much you have complained about how bad a situation is to you no matter how much you have projected on other people how bad marriage is and whatnot you are still inside your marriage and you are not leaving a couple of people that have come out to cry how bad their marriages are whatnot they end up going back to their spouses so why are you coming out to tell people all of these things and instill fear in a lot of them to be very honest with you i see people say you know marriage is not an achievement you know there's no achievement with marriage you guys you think it's actually easy to build a solid successful marriage nobody promised you that anything was going to be easy but do you know what it means to go through life with someone for years and years until death do you pass? I mean, a complete stranger that you did not even grow up with. Many of you even have family members that you don't even speak with. Many of you even have like your blood relations that you guys don't even see eye to eye. So imagine somebody that was in fact coming from a totally different background from you and then you build a generation a home with that person transcending from generation to generation from many years to many years and you tell me that these things are no achievement if it's not an achievement to you fine it is achievements to other people that are striving in real life to put in the hard work to make it work you know to make it successful to make it healthy yeah stop telling people that marriage is not an achievement especially when young girls that desire these things come to meet you for advice let me even tell you guys there's some of your single friends that can't even speak to you anymore because you have projected so much fear on them that if they actually come to you to tell you that see the way people desire other things like a new car you know a baby um what they call it, like a new job and all it is okay for you to allow people be in that their feeling of I desire to actually get married and have a successful marriage but you guys some of your single friends don't even talk to you guys because for every time they express their desire to actually be married it's like marriage is not all that don't even desire it continue living your single girl life because you don't know what God has done for you for you being single and whatnot she's not coming to you to ask you that she wants to get into marriage with your partner she's just designed to get married and have a successful healthy marriage why are you scaring these people that actually come to speak to you guys for genuine advice some of you are shutting people up if anybody these days come to you to say oh my god i desire marriage i want marriage and all i see a lot of people just saying mm, you don't know what you're getting yourself into you don't know oh, i've been married for 10 years i've been married for this and i'll tell you that there is nothing inside and i'll tell you that come out eh, come out <laughs> come out let the person that desires it 
enter into it yes you guys should stop it like stop it stop it there are a lot of people that you know is their desire they are getting to an age where they really desire these things for themselves so shutting them down stop making them feel like what they want is not important because it's important if you want it please pray for it be vocal about it be open about it and you would have it dear bitter married women it is not everybody that actually posts a nice family portrait that is having it bad because the new trending thing of this our generation is that everybody is meant to believe that you know of course i know that social media is not it it's not real life but it's not everybody that posts a happy family picture that must be receiving it bad or is having it bad in the person's marriage no <laughs> no and it's not because you don't post that makes yours better no <laughs> It doesn't mean that because you don't post or you don't talk about your husbands or your family or your children that makes yours better stop making people feel in fact stop raising your nose when you see people genuinely happy when you see people radiate sunshine from the pictures that they post from their family portraits stop raising your nose stop saying that mm, mm. They will post a happy picture you don't know what is happening in their home there's nothing happening in their home that is not as beautiful as what you see online it is not for everybody it is not for everybody if it's toxic for you it is not toxic for everybody if you come out and post a happy family and then your home is in shambles it is not everybody you guys should stop generalizing things yes there are people that are happy and thriving very honest with you there are people that are running a successful family stop projecting that's what i actually came here to tell you guys today stop projecting if you are not having it good that is on you you know go and seek counseling go and seek better ways to make your marriages better but stop projecting i'm going to tell you guys something the way you are advising people now about marriage check this guy check that one i feel like a lot of people have the best advices for the next person and not themselves i feel like you know many of these people some of these people knew exactly what they were getting into before they actually got into it and i also feel like you know people advise them like otherwise you know before they ventured into the course of this marriage many of them must have even broken up with their spouses or their toxic spouses more than 10 times 12 times 24 times 150 times in the relationship they knew that the relationship was actually not going to turn out the way they had in their head but if they advise them as at that time not to venture into the marriage they wouldn't have listened so why are you guys now coming up you know to scare people that actually desire these things i see people you know come out pray about marriages and whatnot and they post these things on the internet and what and then you go through comment section a lot of people are like hmm 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 marriage is it all that is it this one yes if you're of a marriageable age it is sweet to do life with someone else it is sweet to go through life with a companion it is very sweet to build a family with someone it is very sweet to raise a healthy generation with someone it is very sweet to raise a legacy with someone with somebody that you love it is very very sweet so if you desire it if you want it please go ahead and have it don't listen to anybody trying to silence you or put fear inside of you that all men are going to cheat on you they are going to beat you is that toxic is this one have a discerning spirit if it's not working out in your relationship it's not going to work out in marriage if the relationship is already very toxic the marriage is going to be toxier <laughs> if there is a word like that i'm just here to tell you guys dear bitter married women leave single people alone stop scaring them you guys will give advice from morning to in fact from years to years to years but you people are the first to always be pregnant i mean 
we see you guys pregnant almost every year so what's happening how come you're in a bad and toxic marriage but you get pregnant every year <laughs> how make it make sense to me i thought you know your spouse is not all that marriage is not all that how are you opening your legs and getting pregnant every year every minute every second leave single people alone and please not everybody that you see on the internet is actually not having a blissful you guys see there are different situations that are going to happen in marriage if you're with the right person there are different things that are going to happen that will require you guys to join your hands together and surmount the situation if you're with the right person trust me it is going to be like the obstacles that you guys are going to face is actually going to make you guys stronger nobody promised you you know even life itself there are times where it's like what's happening and in the next day you're like you're celebrating you're laughing you're giggling and that's life for you and that's marriage for you please do marriage with the right person don't listen to people eliminate fear you guys are fond of listening to bad things and broken marriage stories different things different when it comes to the good ones you're always raising your eyebrows and raising up your nose and whatnot you guys marriage is sweet that's what i just came here to tell you have that toxic bitter married woman that is around you that is telling you that marriage is not sweet block them off you, yeah you can actually block them off block them off don't listen to them if you desire it you would have it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video today and i most definitely will see you guys in my next video turn on your post notification because videos like this are gonna be popping up on your screen from bombs spot and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>